everybody this is Yelly from Lisa Ravel stickers and I'm going to be planning <clears throat> the week of March the 20th until the 26th on my um Erin Condren hourly <clears throat> I'm going to be using kit 103 from my shop which is the cherry blossoms kit and for those of you that don't know I used to live in the DC metro area and um, cherry blossoms were a nice um, thing to see because there were so many around Tidal Basin and it was just nice to go to DC. And um, yeah, you know, just be able to enjoy that part. <clears throat> that was super nice. Anyway, uh, before I continue, I do want to say something. Um, you will be seeing this video on March uh, 20th. And um, March 20th is actually the last day of the spring uh, social, pla the, the planner social spring sale that I'm participating on where everything is 25% off from my shop. And uh, <clears throat> the code, if you go to my Etsy shop, which is Elisa Ravel, and the link is gonna be down below in the video, you will see, um, in the banner like my shop has a banner and you scroll through it and, and the code will be in the banner i will post it down below in the video as well uh but i have been telling you guys that it was going to end on the 21st so what i'm doing is i'm extending it because the end date was actually the 20th i got confused but i am extending it <clears throat> until the 21st so um yeah and also uh let me tell you the tiered freebies that I am offering for those of you that participate. You do have to use the planner social code and the freebies are like what in the end, what you pay before taxes and after coupons. So the net sales. So let's say that before coupons is 50, but after coupons is 36, then you get the freebie for any order and you get the $25 freebie. You won't get the $50 freebie because you're only paying $36, right? So just want you um, to know exactly how that works. And then I already told you, right? Any order freebie. This is, uh, my theme was rainbow birthday just because my birthday was last week. And uh, this is the freebie for, uh, I mean, they're all cumulative. So if you spend 25 net um, after coupons before taxes, then you'll get these two. But if the total is 50, then you'll get these three. And if it's 100 or more, then you'll get these four, okay? And they're all super cute. And for those of you that got my advent calendar um these kind of go the colors are a little bit brighter i do want to tell you that because i'm using a different printer that prints brighter colors uh, but they they still match they still match and um, they have different elements that you did not have in your kits which are the torn um washi for um also for journaling so there's different elements that I've added <clears throat> that you'll be able to have in these freebies and try them out and see how they work for you. Okay, so I'm gonna put the freebies away <clears throat> and I'm gonna start planning. <clears throat> so I did bring the washi and I am gonna use the washi this time because I, I really like the cherry blossom washi and I'm also using the these tape covers. So the first thing I'm gonna put on is the washi. So let me just go ahead and do that. And uh, I'm just gonna use, I'm so happy that my stickers are peeling off so nicely. Like I'm done with all the uh, issues that I had uh, with my cutters i mean i don't want to say i'm done i have to kind of knock on wood right because um, you never know <clears throat> when issues arise but i think i have it kind of down to the science where i should not be caught off guard anymore because 
um, um, I added some checks during my production process. So those checks help keep everything under, you know, a tight scrutiny. And uh, hopefully there won't be issues uh, with cutting anymore. So, and, and like I say, right, uh, my shop is not full of mistakes, but whenever there is one, please reach out to me and I'll, I'll make it right and I'll send you um, the proper, um, and, and you know, I'll take care of you, is what I want to say, right? Because um, I, I stand behind my products and if something is not really good, like I strive for that not to happen, but I'm also human and uh, I'm also learning, especially uh, with these new cutters that, um, are, you know, there really is a learning curve. I do have to say that I'm happy and proud of myself because that didn't stop me from going and changing and, and buying it and upgrading to it. Uh, I did know there was going to be a, a huge learning curve. I know it was going to be like intimidating. If anything else, it's going to be intimidating because it's a huge thing. Also, uh, with this thin washi, do be careful when you peel it off because it's so thin that sometimes I think the cutting doesn't go 100% perfectly because of how thin it is. But I I was going to take it out, but a lot of you have been asking me to keep it. Um, so just be mindful when you're peeling it. And if at any point it gets a little bit stuck when you're peeling it, um, you can always just kind of help it out off with your tweezers. But I was just going to replace it. But a lot of you have been like, no, we really love the ultra thin washi. It's a really cute washi to have. So it's staying, guys. No worries about that. But I do got, I do want you guys to know um, that since it's so small and so thin, uh, the cutter really has issues with it. And that's another thing, um, with the silhouette, there, you, you don't really run into those problems because you're cutting on a mat. So that doesn't really um, manifest itself as an issue. But with these, they don't cut on a mat. It's kind of like, kind of like cutting in the air. So you can run into issues that you wouldn't run into with the silhouettes. But I do need this cutter in my life especially because um, I know some shops have been raising their prices in, in like by 10%, right? So they're selling the $5 pages at $5.50. And um, I thought about doing that. And I was like, well, I, I need to hold off as much as possible because I, I still think I can make it work. I might make some changes to shipping though because... Um, really in order for me to offer free shipping I should really be requesting you guys to have orders of 50 or 60 dollars in order to earn free shipping and also Etsy has a weird way of calculating shipping prices uh, for you guys that don't order as much so I'm kind of torn and I kind of wanted to do a, like a flat rate type of shipping and absorb the cost of <clears throat> shipping when it goes over that so i don't know what i'm gonna do but i'm kind of uh thinking about what it is that i'm gonna do in regard to shipping however the prices are staying the same but I, but that is also just because i do have uh the graph tech and yes it is an expensive piece of equipment and i was not able to take any profit from my business last year but also that is in hopes of me being able to make it work this year. Um, and, and you know, as any business, I am looking into things, making revisions wherever I need to. And uh, one of those is gonna be shipping. So yeah, those of you that have been following me for a while and have been getting things from my shop, uh, just be mindful. <clears throat> that there might be changes coming to that soon. I haven't quite made the decision yet, 
um, I do have to kind of simulate different scenarios and see what that's going to mean for you and for me because I ultimately, I'm running a business. I would love to take profit, but I also like to think of you guys while I'm doing this. Uh, so for me, this is not just a money-making business. For me, this is also being part of a community and doing things that uh, work for the both of us, okay? <clears throat> so um, I also need to make sure that it's gonna work for you guys. So that's, that. I, I do need to research and all that stuff, okay. Now that these guys are set up, <clears throat> and as you can see, I'm using the vertical date covers. I am not using, oh, this one went on quite crookedly, didn't it? <laughs> <clears throat> this means that my ruler was just set up quite crooked. So let me just try and um, just make a little bit of a change here. Okay, I think that's good. <clears throat> I think it looks super cute. Now I'm going to turn and I'm going to start setting up the sidebar. And while I set up the sidebar, I am going to ask you guys, um, what am I going to use for this sidebar? Do I want to use this one? I think this one looks nice for the sidebar. Let me use this one. So what I want to do <clears throat> is ask you guys uh, to please subscribe. It will mean the world to me um, to know that you guys uh, like this channel enough for uh, for you to want to subscribe to it and turn on the bell notifications so you're notified whenever I upload things uh, to YouTube. If you have the bell notifications on, you just will get a notification that I uploaded something. But if that's not your jam, that's fine. Um, still, please do consider subscribing because that. And, and, and leaving a comment down below because that is what tells YouTube that this is a channel worth showing to other people. And ultimately, that's what I want to make this channel grow and be able to continue bringing these things to you. Because I feel that even though this works a little bit as um, advertising for my business, it's it's not, you know, like the amount of orders that come in through YouTube are not enough for all the work that goes into YouTube videos. So I would greatly appreciate if you support the channel that way as well. And yeah, and you know, let your friends know that there's a YouTube channel. And if you use my stickers and you're part of Facebook groups, share your spreads and tell them where you got your stickers from. Um, there's nothing better than a referral from somebody that's in the world of planning. Like that is the best because I can't not self promote in those groups, but you guys can surely tell people and say, Hey, look, um, I get my stickers here and, and they work out perfectly for me. So, um, that is something that's always appreciated. Okay. I... I'm just gonna go ahead and put this little cute box down here and that'll finish my sidebar. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I, I love this spread. I think it's gonna be super cute. So my birthday went well. Thank you. So I again, another thing I'm gonna tell you guys is I always leave the link down below to my Facebook group because my Facebook group is um, is where the magic happens, right? That's where you guys get notifications about sales, about all the good stuff. And for my birthday, I shared a nice coupon with you guys. So thank you to all who bought um, who bought some things, and it it was nice seeing your orders and seeing how you were taking advantage and of of the. Um, of that coupon code and also like i also want to tell people that um when you do subscribe to my facebook group if you check the announcements you will see a 20 percent off coupon code that you can use on any order all of your orders however sometimes i do post higher codes just because there's like a sale event or something special that's going on uh then when i do post those codes you guys, um, 
I mean, you can still use the, any code you want. I know some of you even, you like to be part of the group and you just rather support the business without using a code, which I mean, that's completely up to you. I'm happy if you use it. And the code is there for you to use it as many times as you want. But anyway, um, if just check the announcements because I tend to post the coupon codes and pin them as announcements. So always check the announcements in the group. Okay, um, so I like to write this list. I do want to make scripts just so that I can write them here. I know somebody asked me, well, if you make your own stickers and you keep on writing the same stuff every single week, why don't you just make a sticker for it? Let me tell you why. Designing is the part that takes the longest for stickers. And if I design something with the text on it, I would have to design it specifically for my, um, specifically with this, this wouldn't be something that would go out to you guys. So what, I, what I'm thinking of doing is adding like one of these guys as an add-on um, just so that it can be used, but I, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I don't know what I'm going to do anyway. So if I design this, like the amount of time that it takes me to design is, is quite long and it has to be per kit. It's just easier to write it guys, believe me. Um, and those of you that, that have an F mark, you know what I'm talking about. When you design something, you want it to be for multiple cuts and not just a one-time type of thing. So anyway, I know there's ways that I could kind of maybe cheat it, but I, I also like to just grab the kit that I'm gonna use and go with it. So sometimes um, I wouldn't be able to do that because I would have to have my kit printed with this. So this is just, it works better for me to do it this way. So, <clears throat> The other thing, and these are some of the lists that I sell, and I could also use one of these and just use the one that kind of comes closer to this, but for right now, um, I'm just writing it. And I'm okay with that. So now I want to get my trash stickers because those are the ones that I, um, that I like to, here we are. I just keep on losing them all the time. So let me figure out what color, like pink would be the ideal color. So the pastel colorful <clears throat> is kind of the um, palette that I'm looking for here and I don't have it with me. And, um, hmm. The colors are not quite there. This one is the one that looks the most like it. Um, so I think I'm just gonna go with these. However, I do have in the sampler some scripts that say um, trash day. So I would just need one for the out. Hmm. I don't know, I have to see what I'm gonna do. Let me see what I have here. Okay, so these let me just grab um, because I need to grab the day for this one. So whenever I have neutrals, I'm just going to go with that. And um, I, ugh, I do want to grab the out over here. Um, so I'll use this one for the out. And I think I'm just going to go with um, some gray trash cans. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. This week, we are on spring break. Elisa's school does spring break quite early. But funny enough, when we get back, it's going to be Easter week. And then we're going to have that Thursday and Friday off. So... I guess our school has a ton of days off. 
and I I have mixed feelings about that. Like I, I like it on the one hand, but it's also like, wow, we have so many days off. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm happy not to have to wake up so early to go drive her. But um, that being said, it's still a whole bunch of days off. Um, okay, let me grab this trash day sticker and add it here. I think that looks cute. There. Good. <clears throat> what else? Um, I lost my plans. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Okay. So Monday, um, I need to get my scripts for VM and Reiki. I'm going to leave the Reiki one out. I'll put it back in later because I do have a, a whole bunch of Reiki sessions to schedule. And um, I, I don't want to forget that. And I am also going to grab some other scripts that I want to have. Um, so it's going to be three meetings. Not sure if I'll be able to make it to all of them, but... You know, it, when there was just two, I made it to the two. Now that there's another one, I'm not making it to any of them. It's just crazy. And um, let me see what else we have here. Okay, this is it. This is about what we have since we don't have school. So let me just put down the meetings each day where they go. So I'll just grab... some of these so for Tuesday it's an 11 a.m. and then for Thursday it's 2 p.m. and for Friday it's noontime okay now let me just put my stickers in here and voila I like to track the 24 hours before the new moon. So I am going to make a little bit of a note over here that we have this going on on Monday. And we do have gymnastics twice this week. Let me get I haven't made the scripts that say gymnastics yet. I need to do that. I always forget. I'm always like, I need to do that, and I don't do it. I'll remember someday. Okay. So this is Monday and Wednesday. I'm gonna have gymnastics both days and let me just do this um, to use it while I'm planning and the same here okay I also um, want to mark down that Tuesday is going to be an intensive cleaning day. I'm starting to lose my voice. I hope my voice um, stays with me until the end. Hmm. Bad choice. Well, it is what it is. Uh, so I'm just going to do this. And doo -doo -doo -doo. I kind of want to, I don't want to make like a full day of this, but I do want to dedicate a good chunk of time to cleaning and organizing. 
So I might not make it to this team meeting. So I'm gonna have to try and make it to the Thursday and Friday ones for sure. Because there are some things that I wanna tackle in terms of cleaning and organizing. And I might need a, another day of this. We'll, we'll have to see. I'm not super sure. And this goes further than just the um, because she gets out quite late. Okay. Now, like I said, there's nothing much going on on Tuesday because I really want to do this. But then also in the afternoon, I told Elisa that I would take her somewhere. So hopefully we'll be able to make it to the mall. Um, and, uh, if I'm going to the mall, you know what, let me just put the sticker back in there. If... I do make it to the mall. I do want to run some errands because I do have a return. I got some stuff online for H&M for clothes for her and it wasn't what she was looking for. So I do want to stop by the Nespresso to get some coffee and I know she wants to uh, stop by a couple of stores not 100% sure which ones. So I won't be able to, um, <laughs> the little tiny dots. Like I told you, the small things are hard uh, for the cutter to just cut um, super sharply. I mean, it does the job. It's just that you have to be careful when peeling them off. Okay. So mine are H&M. And espresso. I don't know how many more we'll be able to do, but um, I'll leave this open because I know she, she 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 wants to go to one or two places. I think she wants to go to five, but I'm just gonna do one or two, two each. I think that's gonna be enough. Okay. Now let's go into Wednesday. So Wednesday, she has gymnastics. Uh, but I would love to do something with one of her friends. So I'm just going to keep this open. I'll come back later and do the Reiki appointments because I need to have this set up before doing the Reiki appointments. Now let's go into Thursday. For Thursday, she does have a mani-pedi. And that is going to be a long appointment. Because we have to drive there, get back. And our mani-pedi is at 11. Ooh, I see no meeting. I won't be able to do this meeting. Let me just grab it. Maybe I will because I'm just going to be there. So I might be able to at least listen and we'll see. So it's going to be 11 to 12, 12 to 1. Oh, no, yeah, I will be able to make it to this meeting. Yeah, because we leave the house around 1030, right? Um, and then we're done until like 130. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this box kind of up here. And I'm going to put my meeting box right back down. Okay, there we go. So we have an 11 a.m. Manny Petty. Okay. So I'll I'll get my my little sticker when when I go grab something else. I'll be. And then that's it. That's all we have going on for Thursday. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. Okay, now Friday. Let's do Friday. We do have an orthodontist appointment at 1010. I am hoping that that's not a huge, like super long appointment. Um, let me use this box for that appointment because I do know it's going to be like a lengthy appointment. So 1010. 11, 10, 12, 10. Okay, so this is good to know. You see, I might not be able to make it to the Friday meeting, so I really have to go to the Thursday one for sure. This is why I need to plan. You see, 10, 10, yeah. I might just be able to make it, but I might not. Who knows? So better to plan for Thursday. Okay, so now let me get my, um, my little... 
nail polish and my orthodontist stickers. So I can put those down. And then, um, hmm. Nail polish. And my orthodontist sticker. <clears throat> okay. There we go. So this is my cutie nail polish sticker. This is my orthodontist appointment sticker, and this is 1010. What else? I think that's it. Now I just need to put in the Reiki appointments. And, um, hmm. So on Monday. I want to just use, let me use these two guys. Um, and um, let me just set these two down. And then I do have another slot Wednesday morning so for Wednesday I can also do um this one right and uh, I could do noon it, it'll depend on what we're doing with friends <clears throat> then on Thursday I could do something later around 4 p.m. Yeah, that works. So let me just put one down over here around 4. And on Friday, I don't think I'll be able to do anything on Friday, but I could do another one here. Um in between gymnastics. So I'm gonna leave these open. I'm not gonna put anything on them except for these two because these two I do know that um, I need to get these done. Okay, there we go. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah, so um, I'll try to do something here and, and with a friend. It's just that plants are a little bit like up in the air because until I talk to her uh, friend's parents and some are traveling, traveling, some are coming back and, and we have to kind of just um, play a little bit around with these times and, and all the things that we want to get done in order to just be able to manage it all so we'll see we shall see okay so i am going to put down the weekend sticker and um do i want to use the cherry blossom no it's going to get lost i'm going to use this one the cherry blossom one is going to kind of get lost because it has white in the back. So I feel that given that the uh, weekend sticker also has white, it's just going to get a little bit lost. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to test my Hobonichi kits. So I think I'm going to repeat this plan with me uh, with the Hobonichi kits. So you might get uh, more videos this week counting that I'm uploading this video on Monday. So quite possibly you'll get three or four videos this week. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Don't hold me to it, but I'm trying. And now um, I do want to use this cute box up here. 
and then um, I think I want this one down here and I think I'm gonna make my YouTube video lists over here and kind of plan and see uh, where I'm gonna put those videos throughout the week so yes that's what I'm gonna do so let me grab my YouTube script and let me just grab some dots and that way I know that um oh actually you know what no I'm not I'm gonna grab my play button I have a play button that I uh, I'm gonna use when I have to do the crystal Reiki here as well let me grab my play button and for the crystal Reiki I'm just gonna put the crystals down because I I know what it stands for um, so as long as I put them down here I know what that means and I'm gonna do my little play button here and I am going to use these little guys here and I'll share with you which videos I have um, the intention of filming and sharing with you I might have more than this but so this video right now is the hourly plan with me I want to do a daily duo plan with me yeah I want to do a Hobonichi cousin plan with me and I want to do a April monthly okay so fingers crossed that I can um, get all those done and that's it I'm done um, I hope this wasn't like too long and again like I'm not putting anything on the Reiki ones I am going to leave my Reiki stickers at hand uh, because I do need to double check with my clients and just make sure that that's going to work for them so um, yeah thank you so much for watching take care and have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye, guys.